Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna to be showing you how to crochet a jumbo bee plushie. So you might've already seen my mini bee tutorial, which is also available on my YouTube channel. So now I've decided to show you guys how to crochet a bigger version of that bee. So yeah, let's get straight into it. So the materials that you are going to need for this crochet bee is first of all, a five millimeter crochet hook or whatever crochet hook you think is best for your yarn that you're using. Some scissors, a yarn needle, you're also gonna need safety eyes. I'm using 16 millimeter safety eyes. Also, I'm using Premier Parfait Chunky Yarn and you're going to want that in the two colors that you want your B. I'm just using yellow and black and you're also gonna want white chunky yarn for the wings. And finally, you're going to need a lot of stuffing. So first of all, we're gonna start off with our yellow yarn and we're going to use the two chain method to make our magic ring. So we're gonna start off with a slip knot and then we're gonna grab our hook, pull through the slip knot, and then we're going to chain two. So we're going to yarn over and pull through the loop. And then we're going to yarn over and pull through that loop. So now you have two chains. Then into the first chain that we made, so this one here, we're going to put our hook through and we're going to do six single crochets. So yarn over, and pull through both two loops. That's one single crochet. And now we're going to do five more. So once we've made the magic ring, we're just gonna pull on the tail to tighten it. And now we're going to move on to round two. So round two is six increases. So an increase is two single crochets into each stitch, basically. So we're gonna go into the first stitch. And then we're gonna do one single crochet. And then two single crochets, and that's one increase. And we're gonna do that six times. So once we are done with the second round, we should have 12 stitches in total if you go around and count. Now we are going to use our stitch marker. I'm just gonna be using scrap yarn for my stitch marker. And we're going to pull that through the last stitch of the round. And this will make it easier to count our stitches. So for the next round, we are going to do single crochet increase times six. So single crochet in the first stitch, and then increase in the next stitch. And we're going to do that six times. So once we're done with that round, we're going to move the stitch marker up to the next stitch. Now we are going to move on to round number four, which is two single crochets increase times six.
So now we've finished round four and we're going to move on to round five after we move our stitch marker up. So round five is three single crochets and increase times six. So now we are moving on to four single crochets and an increase times six. So this will be round number six and after this round we should have 36 stitches in total. So now that we have finished round six, we're going to move on to round seven. So round seven to nine will just be single crocheting all the way round. So round seven will be single crocheting for 36 stitches and so will round eight and nine. So I'm gonna put my stitch marker up to the newest stitch. And I'm basically just gonna go round all the way around three times in total. Okay, so now that you can see that we are at the last stitch of the third round, so one, two, three, we are going to do a color change on the last stitch as we're going to change to black. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our black yarn that we have over here. And we're just gonna put that there for a moment. And then we're gonna go into the final stitch as if we are doing a single crochet and pull up a loop but then we're gonna stop there and we are going to use the black yarn to pull through those two loops to complete the single crochet. And then we are going to tie the yellow and black yarn together using a double knot. We are not gonna cut off the yellow yarn yet as we will also need it later. Then for the next two rounds, we are going to single crochet round in black. So 36 stitches twice in the color black. So now we are nearing the end of the two rounds of black. So we'll just do the second last stitch and then for the last stitch, we're going to color change back to yellow. So if we pull up a loop with black, we should still have the yellow attached below. We can just pull through those two loops with yellow. And we're still gonna leave the black on because we will need it again in another two rounds. But for now, we are going to do two single crochet rounds of just yellow. So we're gonna go round two times in yellow. Thank you. 
Okay, so for the final stitch of this round, we are going to change back to black once again. So we're gonna pull the yarn through and then we're gonna grab our black yarn, which should still be attached and pull that through the two loops. And now we are going to do another two rounds in black and then that will be the last of black. So we'll single crochet all the way around twice in black. Okay, we are now at the last stitch of the round and we're going to change back to yellow just like we did the other times. So we're gonna pull through the two loops with yellow. And now we are going to cut off the black yarn. So we're gonna grab our scissors and we're gonna leave a little bit of length of the tail. I'm gonna cut it off. And then we are going to tie the black yarn, the remainder of the black yarn to the yellow yarn, just to make sure it doesn't come loose. So now the rest of the bee is in yellow. So we are going to once again, single crochet for two rounds. So we're gonna go all the way around twice in yellow. So now we are at the end of round 17. And so what we are going to do after we have finished this round is that we are going to put our hook down for a minute as we are going to put the safety eyes onto the bee. So what we're gonna do is you see these color changes here. We're gonna try and make sure that these are on the bottom when we are putting the safety eyes on. So my color changes are down here and I have my two safety eyes here so we're gonna put them approximately between rounds four and five. So one, two, three, four, four and five here. And that'll be slightly different on the other side, but just try and make them as even as possible. And then we're going to grab the backings and we're going to clip them on to the eyes. So that's the first one and that's the second one. So now the color changes are approximately at the bottom and we can continue on with the B. And now we're gonna start decreasing. So for the next round, we're going to do four single crochets and then a decrease. So one single crochet, two, three, four. And then for the decrease, you're going to go into the first stitch and pull up a loop. And then you're going to go into the next stitch and also pull up loops so that you have three loops on your hook. And then you're going to yarn over and pull through all three of those loops. So that basically turns two stitches into one. And we're gonna do that six times. So after we've completed that round, I'm going to move the stitch marker up. And now we're going to move on to the next round. So that for the next round, we're going to be doing three single crochets, decrease, time six. So at the moment we should have 30 stitches and at the end of the next round, we should have about 24 stitches. So now that we have finished that round, we are going to move the stitch marker up once again. So after the next round, we are going to begin stuffing, which I think is the best part. But first we're going to do two single crochets and decrease times six, and that should take us down to about 18 stitches. Okay, so now that we've done that round, 
I'm just going to pull the yarn out a bit and put that hook over here. And then we're going to grab some of our stuffing and we're just going to put it inside. So you're going to need quite a bit of stuffing. So I'm just going to grab some more of mine. So just shove the stuffing inside of the bee. I use Hobby Fill from Spotlight. I think it's called like Poly Fill online if you want to search it up and buy some. So we're not going to fully stuff the bee quite yet. We'll add a little bit extra at the end, but we're just going to add a, like a good amount of stuffing. So now we're going to move on to the next round, which is single crochet decrease times six. So after we have completed that round, we are going to grab any final stuffing that we need to add. So I like to make it so they can't be like squished too much, but you can add like however much stuffing that you like. When I first started crocheting, I always added too little stuffing. And now on to the very last round. So for the last round, we are just decreasing six times. So once we've done the last decrease, we are going to leave a little bit of a tail and just cut it off. And then we're going to pull through the yarn. So just pull on the hook. And now we are going to sew the end of the bee shut. And what we're going to do is we're going to sew between two stitches and then pull through. Then we are going to sew through the next two stitches of the round and once again pull through. You're going to do this one or maybe two more times until you think that the B is properly closed. There's just an extra little gap I see here that I am also going over. Then you can simply cut off your yarn. So now we have the body of the bee and to finish it off, we have to do the wings. So we're gonna grab our white yarn and we're going to make two wings. So I like to leave a bit of a tail for the slip knot as we're gonna to have to sew that in as well. And we're gonna do a slip knot and then we're going to chain two, just like we did at the start of the B. And then we are going to do six single crochets into the first chain. Pull on the tail a bit to close off the magic ring. And that's six stitches in the magic ring. So then the next round is six increases. So we're gonna increase in every stitch. So now we've finished round two, we're gonna move on to the next round. So I'm gonna use a stitch marker so the next round is single crochet increase times six. Now for the final round of the wing, we are going to just single crochet all the way round. So 
So once you have done that, we can take our stitch marker out and we're going to leave a bit of a tail for sewing. And we're going to pull up this. And now you are going to make another one of these wings exactly how you just made this one. Okay, so now we have these two wings right here. So what we're going to do is we're going to take the tail that is in the middle of each wing and I'm just going to grab my yarn needle and pull that yarn through. And I'm just sort of going to take it out to the other side. This is just so it will be easier to sew on. So I'm going to do that with the other one because right now it's right in the middle. So there we go, now we have both of the tail ends down the end. So now we are going to grab one of the wings and we're going to get ready to sew it on. So if you have a look at where your safety eyes are, you sort of want the middle to be in line. So I'm just gonna basically put my crochet hook in there just so I know where the middle is. And then I'm gonna want the wing to sort of be next to that. So I'm gonna put my yarn needle in and just put it through these two stitches here. So I can take this out now because I know where the middle is. So now you have the wing in the right position and now we're going to sew through the other side. So sewing is basically just sewing back and forth a couple of times until you think it's secure enough. So now we're going to pull it through this part of the wing and we're going to sew it down into the B. And then back into the wing again. and then back into the B. So you can do this as many times as you like until you think it's secure. So I'm happy with how secure it is now. I'm just gonna do one last pull through. And then I'm gonna pull it pretty much over here to like the other side of the B. Because now what we're going to do is we're going to grab the other tail that we have here. Put our yarn needle into the yarn. And we're just going to bring it over to the exact same spot. That our other piece of yarn is. So try and get it in the exact same stitch. And this is how I make my yarn ends really secure and make sure that nothing comes out. So now once we have these two here, we're just gonna tie a double knot. So one knot and then two knots. Then I'm gonna cut off the ends just above the knot. And we're just basically gonna push that inside. And if you put them in the same stitches, it should just slip through really easily. So now we have one wing on the B. So now we're gonna do the same thing with the other wing. Now we know where the middle is, it'll be pretty easy to get the position right. Also, if you do like this tutorial, keep in mind that I have several other tutorials on my YouTube channel and lots of other patterns available on my Etsy that you can make. And we're gonna put that into this stitch. And we're just gonna do the exact same thing that we did with the other wing and keep going back and forth. If this is one of your first times crocheting something, it's not gonna be the neatest when you sew. I remember when I first started sewing, I was absolutely awful at it. I'm still not great at it, to be honest, even like a year and a half later. 
but it definitely gets a lot easier. So do not worry. It will get neater as you continue to crochet. So now that we have finished sewing this on, we're just gonna do the same as we did with the other wing and bring the yarn tail out on some other stitch. And then we're gonna get the other yarn tail, put it through our yarn needle and we're just gonna bring that out on the exact same stitch. And then we're gonna double knot these together once again. And cut off the tails just above, oh, there we go, just above the knot. And then we're gonna use the yarn needle to push that inside. And now you have finished your crochet bee. I hope you enjoyed making your bee. I have lots of other tutorials on my channel if you wanna check them out and make sure to subscribe if you did enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next video, bye.